A nurse who was just days away from having her ventilator switched off as she battled COVID says that an experimental treatment with Viagra was the thing that saved her life. Monica Almeida joins us now from her home in Lincolnshire, where I understand, Monica, you are still recovering. How are you doing now? Hello, good morning. Yes, so recovery is a, a slow process, uh, as well as physically and mentally. It's not going to be uh, a short ride. It's possibly going to take months physically. I'm quite weak still. We've got good days and bad days. Uh, mentally, you know, you might be OK in the morning. In the evening, it might have been too much. And you have a few tears, you have a good cry. Uh, but I'm getting there slowly, day by day. Well, one of the things which um, I know, I'm sure you've experienced, is put a smile on your face, other people's faces, is that there's quite a remarkable treatment you were given to which you attribute your recovery. Because it, you faced... I mean, I, this Absolutely. is what... I, I can't imagine what it must be like to now know that you faced your ventilator potentially being switched off. But it was Viagra that came to the rescue. What happened? Yes, so um, when I was intubated, I signed up uh, for a study. I uh, allowed my medical team to give me whatever it takes to get me better. So Viagra was the last resort. Viagra or Sinadophil, uh, which is the proper name for the medication, um, it was actually made, the medication, for cardiac issues. So uh, what we use it for this day and age for erectile dysfunction, that's a secondary effect. So when you think about it, how it works, how it enlarges the blood vessels. In my case, uh, there was nothing else we could do. I only found out that I was given 72 hours to turn a corner um, or my ventilator would be turned off, obviously, after I was conscious. So um, I wasn't aware what was going on. My family were. And that was the medical team's last resort to try and, and save me. And within 48 hours, my oxygen requirements had lowered to less than 50%. So I was very fortunate that in my situation, it was only my lungs that were affected, mm -hmm. my kidneys, my heart, uh, all my other organs coped quite well. So when we say Viagra saved me, we have to have in the context of what the medication was actually yes. made for, what it does in your body. You know, it wasn't going to give me an erection. We all knew that. <laughs> and I was on very high doses. <laughs> yes, I know, it's funny because it, it seems is, like, you know... I know, there's something, there's a sort of schoolboy humour about yeah, it, isn't yeah. there, Monica? And have you had a joke with Absolutely. the medical staff about, about the, the use of the, of the Viagra? Oh, yes, when they told me, I thought they were uh, having a, a giggle with me and I thought, they mean something really powerful. They said, no, Monica very high doses of Viagra. Mm. That's what saved you. Well, I have to say, uh, I, I actually... So, you sorry. know, it's... Uh... I actually struck out of, of, of the script I'd written down that I was going to call it an uplifting story, and I thought, no, 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 we, we, we can't say that. But listen, you say, as, as we know, uh, that Viagra was originally developed to, for heart patients, basically, um, and, and it expands the blood vessels, yes. and that's why it gives men erections. Um, but why would expanding your blood vessels uh, get you out of the coma? How would, how would expanding the blood vessels save your life? So it didn't get me out of a coma. So what we have to understand is I was put in a coma because I was on 90% oxygen and I wasn't getting enough oxygen absorbed into my bloodstream. OK, so I know it's a bit technical and I'm a nurse and it's easier for me to understand than to explain. But on 90% oxygen that I was being given, I was only getting saturations or oxygen levels in my blood of 92, 93%, which is very low because my normal is 97 to 99. Mm -hmm. So the medical team approached me and said, if we don't do this now, it's going to be an emergency. Mm -hmm. So the decision was made to intubate me, which is very frightening when you've worked yeah. in intensive care and you know you're going to be out for at least three weeks. I knew that. I've actually worked in that same intensive care unit that was my first job as a newly qualified nurse. Mm. So I knew exactly what expected me. And when they say that, you know it's serious. So for them, the main goal was, let's intubate her, give her time to heal, 
let's see if she starts absorbing oxygen. But the treatments that I was given just weren't doing it. Well, let's ask My Dr. Hillary. My lungs look like a Christmas tree. OK, well, let's, let's talk to Dr Hillary. How would Viagra, through expanding her blood vessels, how would it have been such a, a help to her? OK, so in the lung tissue, you've got uh, perfusion, you've got blood supply uh, and you've got oxygenated air sacs. And the trouble with COVID is that it creates perfusion issues so that the diseased lung uh, has got too much blood in it and not enough oxygen and the opposite is true in the healthy lung. Right. So by taking sildenafil, um, you open up the blood vessels to get better perfusion in healthy parts of the lung. So you get better oxygenation into the bloodstream you get recovery. Um, and as, um, as we've just heard, sildenafil has been used originally with cardiac cases. Mm -hmm. And just like many other drugs, it has more uses. So paracetamol, for example, treats fevers as well as pain. Sildenafil treats erectile dysfunction as well as... Um, mm -hmm. It's in clinical trials now yeah. around the world for, okay. uh, for this, oh, for COVID. Good. Uh, and, Monica, what does your family and, and your friends and your colleagues think about the fact that you're on television with a headline... <laughs> Viagra saved my life. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I think I'm a bit more annoyed than they are. <laughs> I think there's more tasteful ways of putting it. <laughs> um, you know, obviously, the feedback I'm getting online, I stopped reading it yeah. because, yeah. actually, it's not the best. There's a lot of ignorant people that don't understand that the drug was actually made for something else. Yeah. Yeah. I can have a giggle. You know, my sense of humour is still present. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but not when people become rude and ask if the Viagra's for me or for the husband. OK, um, <laughs> all right. Yeah, well, well, you're always going to get those it's people. It's not very nice. But, look, but you um, know what? You're a trailblazer, aren't you? You really are. Yeah, because, I mean, as, you know, it, clearly you attribute um, your recovery to the use of this particular drug, as Dr Hillary has and it's explained. Been it's been trialled. It's been trialled. And let's yes, hope... Yes, and also to a fantastic medical team. Yes, of, course. of course. Well, listen, lovely to see you on the show. Lovely to see you back here in the land of the living yeah. and, and getting better day by day. Um, good luck with that recovery. It's yeah. obviously underway. And thank you so much thank for sharing that Thank you so much. Story. Thank you for having me. No, it's a pleasure. Let's, let's hope it can be used. Absolutely. Um, and interestingly, it's used about five times the normal dose um, right. for other things. Yep. Um, so it's high dose, yep. uh, but very safe. Um, and it's used in pulmonary hypertension for people with heart disease yeah. because it reduces the workload of the heart as okay. well. Okay, well, it's good to have a good, a good news COVID story on the show. <laughs>